Hey folks, good evening. Good to see you on this Tuesday evening, June the 1st. Hope you've had a good day. Hope you've had a successful day. We were busy at the church, lots going on, uh, different things happening, taking place. Uh, but it's good to be with you and, and close our night out just like this. Uh, we're not going to be on here long tonight, but uh, do want to take some time just to say hello and give you greetings and, and say our prayer tonight and, and then wish you all a blessed evening. I want to remind you of what's coming up. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday, but we are out of school, which means there is no popcorn and snow cone. No popcorn and snow cone tomorrow, uh, but we will be having uh, children's, youth, and adult ministries happening at 630 all right, so 6.30 tomorrow evening. Look forward to seeing you. Uh, the Bible study will go out. We still need to finish uh, Matthew chapter 17, and we'll, we'll have 18 ready for you as well. All right, uh, so look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Uh, it'll be a good day, lots of good stuff going on, and uh, all that. All right, <clears throat> hope you've had a good day. Uh, like I said, we're not going to be here long, uh, so let's just kind of get right to it and uh, and get ready and, and say that prayer together that we know so well, right? We know it well. Uh, as we get ready to say that prayer, uh, part of what this prayer does is it is it helps plants it helps plant seeds of hope in our life. As we say it over and over, as we meditate on the words or or line by line or phrase by phrase or or breath by breath, it helps plant seeds of hope in your life and, and in the lives of others as we as we go over this. Um, one of the things that we're doing at church, we talked about it Sunday, is we're starting this, this garden, uh, this garden at KFC. Yes, it'll have a production aspect and, you know, we'll give away things, you know, produce and stuff like that. Uh, yes, it'll have the aspect of flowers and pretty things to look at, uh, opportunities for, you know, butterflies and and hopefully soon a, a gazebo and some trellises and, and all that fun stuff. Yeah, there's going to be an opportunity for, for picnic tables and, and a place to sit down and relax and, and to be still. Um, but the, mo the thing that I'm most uh, excited about is it's going to be a place for, for prayer, for reflection. And I hope as we continue moving forward on preparing it and getting ready and, and as we see many hands come together that help serve and put it together, that just like this, our, our time of, of saying the Lord's Prayer, planting seeds of hope, uh, I, I pray that we'll see that in your life, that you will be able to plant spiritual seeds of hope in others' lives because of what God is doing in you. Well, let's say this prayer together. And so think about those areas in your life that you've you've grown in. Think of those areas of life that God has, has helped you with, has given you hope. And then I want to encourage you to find opportunities then to share that goodness, that hope with others who desperately need to hear it. All right? Let's say this Lord's Prayer together as one. Are you ready? <clears throat> say these words with me that you know so well. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. Those are good words, aren't they? They're words that, that bring hope, that bring encouragement, that bring peace. They're words that, that show trust. They show trust in the one that is always faithful. Well, guys, <clears throat> told you we weren't going to be on here long tonight. Don't want to drag it out. I want to make sure that you have an opportunity to, to find a place of rest, find a place of peace, uh, bed down for the night. If you had good things in your life, thank God and rejoice for those good things. If you maybe had some not so great things, uh, take some deep breaths, let the stress roll off, and trust in Him for a brand new day tomorrow. All right? Guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow for Bible study. 
and uh, we will be back together again very soon. If you need anything, contact us, let us know, uh, call us in the office, send us an email, uh, call our cell phone, send us a text or a message on Facebook or whatever. Uh, we want to we want to be there for you uh, and to serve you and to help you continue growing deeper with him. Well, guys, love y'all. Appreciate you. Have a great night. God bless. Find a place of rest. And I look forward to seeing you really, really soon. Take care. Bye bye.